Howard, go ahead, please. Yes, sir. You know, this strikes home for me. I'm a survivor of the Fort Hood shooting in 2009, and, you know, this this makes my blood boil. I mean, the same reason why I wasn't able to take Nadal Hassan out that day was exactly the reason why these Marines are dead today. And were you, uh, in, were you in their facility while the Muslim Major Nadal Hassan executed those people? Uh, I was in the building just adjacent to it, and uh, he came out and it was firing on uh, myself and others around me uh, that day. Um, and and because you were disarmed by Bill Clinton in 1993, which was long before you were in the military. Now, why would you think Bill Clinton would have disarmed the military on on bases? What would be the motive for that? I, the only thing I can think of is control. But I, let me tell you, Doctor. No, I'll tell I'll tell you why. Because Bill and Hillary Clinton feared a military coup. They knew that they were hated by police. They knew they were hated by the military, and they knew in their heart of hearts the only thing between them and total power was the military. So the first act was disarming U.S. soldiers on military bases. And can you imagine she wants to be president now? Uh, that's the most disgusting thing I, I could ever imagine. Uh, just like I had to imagine uh, a gun being in an empty holster. I actually took my handgun off that day. Uh, because I was in civilian clothes, and uh, but it's restricted, so I took it off. And that the, the thought of that is disgusting, just as equally as it's disgusting to see her uh, potentially being a president of this. Year. But Howard, here we have four Marines dead in recruiting centers because they were di they were un disarmed. They had no weapons. One, the, the the shooting that happened in 2014 here at Fort Hood again. Uh, Navy are shooting. The the uh, there's been other recruiting station shootings. You know when are we going to learn? You know, when are we going to take care of Well, we would learn if Michael Savage were president, the first act that I would perform is I'd rearm all active military on all bases. I'd make sure that they were all able to protect themselves. The second act would be to restore to the military all of the officers purged by Barack insane Obama. Every officer driven out of the Corps on the false charges and smears would be reinstated with a bonus. And then I would investigate all of the fake soldiers put in management positions, and I'd fire them all. Every one of them who's been put into the military to control the military, every one of these unqualified s uh, Captain Kangaroos that they put in would be fired immediately. That's what I would do as a president. I'd love to hear this from Trump or someone else. I'd like to hear what the military uh, would say about that. Well, the, military's that right now cons the military right now is concerned about... Not putting weapons in the hands of the military on domestic bases, but putting transgender in the military. That's the highest priority. You hear this? Well, that, you know, I, I mean, it's crazy. Do you realize how crazy this country has become under the psychotic running the country and the sorority around them? Do you know how crazy they are? They're absolutely insane, and the thing that's going to—that is going to be the single thing that brings this nation down—is that what we we have uh, keep allowing our priorities. Uh, to be overrun with these uh, the facades of transgender or, or these other immoral acts, you know, those are more important than, uh, you know, us being morally sound individuals, uh, whether it's in the military or even in the, the citizen population. It's incredible. I, I don't even think the word moral ma uh, can be used anymore in America. I think the word moral itself is illegal. It's a pornographic word now, the word moral and morality. Clinton disarmed military personnel at bases in 1993. This is why uh, men and women were killed at Fort Hood, of which you are a survivor.